This is the era of Jugoslav. We've got a lot of these down at Walker, 1921. This is right in the early days of cavity wall construction. And what you've got here, and this one in the centre here, is a private. Obviously, that's the one that hasn't been decorated. These are ours on the, either side of it. What you've got is you've got concrete columns every four feet on the area of Jugoslav. So you'll have a column there, you have a column there, column there, column there. And that's all in situ poured concrete when they built the houses up clink a clock box on the outside, clink a clock on the inside, and a, a, a cavity, four inch cavity in between. And the next picture just shows you, there's the in situ poured concrete columns, there's the little timber batten that they used for the uh, formwork. They built the walls up gradually, and then poured the concrete and glued it all together. I took this photograph because it shows quite clearly that the cavities have been insulated. Those little blips there, there, these, they're all drill holes. And obviously, to get the cavity filled, you've got to work within the four-foot module of the, of the columns. That's a photograph I took of a fire-damaged property where we gutted the hole on the inside. And you can see there, it's had a new concrete floor put in. That's the, the, the vapour barrier, the damp-proof membrane for the ground floor. There's the in-situ poured concrete columns. There's the in-situ lintel across there. And then the timber floor for the first floor construction. But that shows you quite clearly that's the in-situ part of it. What is no finds concrete? Well, concrete is made up of the elements of coarse aggregate, which is your gravel, fine aggregate, which is your sand, cement to glue it together, and water, all mixed up. With no finds concrete, there's no finds. So you get the coarse aggregate, you get the cement, and you get the water. So what you get in there, because there's no finds to fill the voids, you get this insulation value in the concrete. Now at the time that these houses were built, all that air produced a fairly good insulation value, U value. It's not good by modern standards, but at the time that these houses were built, you were able to build concrete houses, solid walls, and a timber shutter very, very quick and very, very efficiently. So when we're talking about no finds concrete, that's what it is. It's full of air. And really, if we've got to do any repairs to these houses, it's very, very difficult because the no finds, once you touch it, when you drill it or try and repair it, it drops to bits. It looks like air or chocolate. That, that's what it is. It's, good. it's full of air bubbles. This left-hand picture there is the, the point block at, up at Kenton. Now, that one, that, that's not an original no finds concrete surface. It's got insulation on and that's an insulated render. So that's how we've tried our houses.